House Bill 47, a bill calling for religious rights, passing through a legislative committee in Frankfurt today, but not without strong opposition from many in the room, including those from the LGBTQ community. ABC 36's Jane Davenport joins us now in studio to tell us about the discussion lawmakers had with concerned Kentuckians. Jane. You guys, there were so many people who showed up today in opposition of House Bill 47. They had to send over half of them to an overflow room. The people who did get to stay in the room got the opportunity to hear Representative Steve Rawlings explain how the bill could protect religious rights. A controversial religious freedom bill passed through the legislative committee today, 14 to 6. Now there are 24 communities all across our commonwealth that have stood up to protect LGBTQ people and you're putting every one of them at risk. Representative Steve Rawlings says House Bill 47 is aimed at protecting the religious rights of Kentuckians, adding that everyone deserves their fair day in court. We're looking at a broader protection of religious rights for people across the commonwealth. But as he spoke to his fellow legislators, Kentuckians behind him sat and listened, some shaking their heads in opposition. The main concerns from those who oppose the bill include giving people the ability to discriminate against others while claiming religious exemption. They worry that this bill could allow certain crimes, such as killing animals or child abuse, to go unprosecuted if the perpetrator cites their religion. But advocates for the bill say that is not the case. It would in no way undermine child abuse laws or that female genital mutilation laws. One religious leader took the stand, calling on legislators to vote against the bill. We care a great deal about religious freedom, a great deal. However, this bill is not helpful. Representative Rawlings says this bill would not change any current laws, to which many asked, why is the bill needed? And even though House Bill 47 passed, legislators who voted for it say it still needs a lot of work before it can pass on the floor. We will continue a coverage on House Bill 47. For now, back to you, Paxton Farron.